what up guys welcome to your 28 tutorial and we're just going to take a quick break from the tutorial basics app that we're developing just so we can do some um, Google Maps API uh, use the Google Map API and just make a brief map I just want to show you guys how to how that works because you know I listen to my people and everyone's been asking me about Google Maps so I'm going to do that real quick um, basically just get it set up because it's a tedious um, process to get Google Maps working properly and this video is probably going to be like 10 minutes because I'm cooking some mac and cheese and I don't want to burn that because no one likes burnt mac and cheese first you want to go and open up your uh, Android SDK and AVD manager I'm just going to delete that real quick and you want to go to your available packages you guys might have already done this but uh, you want to open up your third party add-ons open up the Google and then select whatever level you're developing for. I already uh, downloaded the API 8, but you know if you're doing 7 or whatever level you're working on, uh, just install, hit accept, and then install it. And then basically what you want to do is we're gonna have to. Uh, oh yeah, also you want to go to AV or the SDK and AVD manager again. We're gonna need a new emulator that works with Google Maps. So we're gonna say new. Uh, one boys maps. Blah, yeah. All right, and then uh, just select the one that has the Google API attachment to it. Um, so we're gonna use the Google Maps, and doesn't really matter. And just create it, and then we got that set up. Like I said, it's pretty tedious. So uh, we're gonna start a new project here. You probably want to watch this to the end. I'll probably leave some comments because just so you know how to do it because it's kind of difficult if you haven't done this before. But we're going to open a new Android project. This is pretty much the basic stuff. So we're going to say Homeboys Maps. Awesome. And we need to select the Google Maps API I'm developing for level uh, that level eight. It's pretty much review, corn boys. Uh, and that level seven just got installed, so I'm not gonna restart it, but I'm gonna select the 2.2 Google or I'm sorry, the Google API 2.2 uh, level eight and Google Maps or corn boys maps. Package name com .cornboys .google maps c cornboys and then we're just gonna call this one main and level eight. Finish that and now we need to um, every time you put something on the marketplace you're gonna have to sign it, uh, give it a key and a key store. So and also to use Google Maps you're gonna need to know your uh, well, we'll get to that in a second, but you're going to need to know what your key and key store is. So we're going to set that up first. Android Tools. Go to Export Signed Application Package. And then hit Next. And that's the package, or whatever you named the project. And then we need to enter a key store. And also, uh, well, we're going to hit Browse and we're going to create a new one. Sorry, I keep checking the time. That's why I'm like pausing and stuff. But you just go to your C drive and then um, hit new, and then we're gonna say Cornboys signed. Cornboys sign. However you want to label that folder, and hit enter. And then we're also gonna create it. Or you know that'll be fine. That's fine. We're just gonna use that because it'll be easier. And we're gonna say uh, what we're we gonna name this. We're gonna name this. Uh, Maps, pretty basic, and that's going to create the or it doesn't exist yet. So we're, oh, well, I'm an idiot. All right, you also want to select uh, create new key store, make a password. I'm going to say my password is just called Travis, just to keep it simple. Confirm it, hit next, and now we're going to have to create the key and an alias, and we're going to need to know this later. So make sure you remember what all your stuff is. But for my alias, I'm just going to call it Cornboys 
alias just to keep it simple and a new password but uh, I'm gonna just say keep it Travis just to keep it easy as well so both my key and my key store have Travis um, as the as the password and then the validity um, basically whenever someone installs your app it's gonna check the validity so you want it for like a thousand years I think you can select up to a thousand years it doesn't really matter but you know a thousand years people are still downloading our app we know we did business and then also just select a name hit finish and then you know wherever you want your APK um, directory to be stored that's gonna be the actual file I'm just gonna probably I'm not going to save it in the same folder. I'm going to just go back to my C drive. And I have Cornboy's APK. And I'm just going to save it in there. You can save this wherever you want. Hit finish. And now we have signed our project. The next thing we need to know for the Google Maps is the M I think it's the MD5 uh, identification. Basically, it's just a identifier of your project and so we're going to need to use the command prompt so just hit up start enter cmd for um, what your search and go up to the command prompt for uh, for Macintosh I'm not exactly sure how you get to the command prompt but that's fine however you do it you do it that way the other thing you're going to need to know or have I should say is the Java JRE most of you guys should probably already have this, but I'm just making sure you guys do. And so you sit, search it on Google, uh, come to the Oracle page, and just download right here. Uh, just download this for your platform and save it in your uh, programs, program files uh, directory. It should be the standard directory where it saves. But you just want to make sure you have that. And also you can check by going to computer C program files and then go down to Java and that should be the JDK 1.60 underscore 12. So make sure you have that and then in your bin you have like your jar signer and all that great stuff. You might actually have to have this before you signed it. I'm um, not, not, not positive, but just you know, you can click on those and get some sweet stuff going. And then what we have to do is we need to locate that directory in the command prompt. So to do that, we, you just need to hit CD and then the directory folder that you want to go to. So we're just going to start out with uh, why is that not working? Oh, got the backslash. Alright, so now we're in our C directory. And an easy way to just keep um, keep track of where you're going is right up here. Uh, it kind of shows you where it is, or you can just open the folders as you go. And then just hit in CD where you're going. So now we are, we're in the C program files, and then we need to go to the CD Java. And then um, CD jdk 1.6.0 underscore 12 and then we also need to go into the bin folder all right and within here we have all these resources like I said here's one called tool key that's what we're going to need to use to get our identifier we're running on time here but to get the identifier we're gonna have to basically use all that stuff that we set up earlier um, but we also want to use the key tool from the Java uh, JDK that we just installed. So uh, hit key, type in key tool, and then to get the actual identifier, we're going to hit list. So um, you know, like a negative sign list, and we also need to find our alias name. Crap, I forgot what mine was. So you type minus list, and then we're going to have to say the actual name of it. I'm just going to go to make sure everything's set up here or set up correctly. And 
here's your alias name if you guys need to remember what it was. So it's going to be alias cornboys. Alias. Which doesn't seem right. Okay. Cornboys alias. And then we also need to see where our key store was located. So minus uh, minus key store, and then um, where whatever directory your key store is located in. As you guys can see, mine is located right here. So I'm just going to select this and copy it. Go back to my command prompt, and so you have the negative key store space. And then in quotations, you need to get your directory. So I'm going to right click and hit paste and then close off. Is that the right directory? Yeah. Close off, uh, close off your quotations. And then we need to also unlock the passwords for both the store and the key. So we're going to say, uh, store pass and I label it Travis was my password and also uh, key pass is also Travis and I'm getting in there awesome awesome that's great that's great okay um project clean real quick and then sometimes that will happen you just have to clean your project either that or I typed it wrong so hopefully this will work now I'm just gonna type it out real quick again and I just smell the mac and cheese burning right now. I gotta get to work, so sorry. This is just gonna be a basic setup, or the beginning of the setup, I should say. So, apologize if you guys are trying to get something done today with maps, because it'll probably take a couple days before I actually can get this, uh, get this done here. For some reason, that just doesn't seem right. Oh, not one air there. Man, what is going on? You guys probably already recognize what, what my problem is here, and I'm just messing around, messing it up here. But, uh, it's probably going to cut out this part of the video. So it doesn't really matter what I say. But, um, oh, yeah, I was using the wrong location. Wonder why that happened. Oops. Oh, that's what happened. So I was selecting paste instead of copy. I'm such an idiot. All right, let's try this one last time. Key tool. List. Oh, almost messed up again. Where's my problem? All right, alias. Homeboy is alias. Key store rotation, oops, rotation paste. Yeah, that looks better. I was using a different directory, that's why I was messed up. Sorry, guys. And uh, store password is Travis, and uh, key password is Travis. Okay. And now we have our fingerprint that we're going to need to use the Google Maps. It's probably going to be the end of the video, um, but remember, we're going to have to figure out what our fingerprint is when using Google Maps. See, guys, sorry this was really confusing, messed up, and whatever. But I uh, appreciate watching and subscribing, giving a thumbs up. Again, this is just the beginning of the Google Maps, and we're going to need this for the next tutorial. See you guys. Peace.